Hey guys, this is Mark with iApple Tech 128 and today we are going to be showing you a little bit of coding. We haven't done that for a while, but we are going to be showing you how to implement the Paddle framework for analytic tracking into your Mac app. Now, you can do this for two different ways, either the Mac App Store or outside of the Mac App Store. They're pretty much similar but we will be showing you what the difference is and how to do it for both. So first you want to head on over to vendors.paddle.com, get your account set up and everything like that. Then in the top right hand corner, we want to click create app. Then name your app and specify whether that is for the Mac app store or outside of the Mac app store. For ours it is going to be outside of the Mac app store, but if yours is going to the Mac App Store, then you want to pick the correct one. Then it will take you to a page and you want to download the SDK. There is a little bit of a difference for non-App Store compared to App Store. You'll download the one that's right for you, but it's going to be the same. So now let's go ahead, open up Xcode, and we want to add the framework that came in our file. Um, there's a folder called Frameworks, so that seems like a really good place to throw it in. If your file is not set up to um, copy, you want to check copy items if needed, and then hit finish. Now this is where it's going to differ whether you are putting it in the Mac App Store or not. If you are not, you can skip this step right here. I'll let you know when you can start paying attention again. But if you are going outside of the Mac App Store, you want to go ahead and expand the link binary with libraries section, then add a new framework by clicking that plus button right there. Then you want to search for WebKit. And once we find WebKit framework, we'll just go ahead and add that. And then you're done. So this is where everybody can start paying attention whether you are in the Mac App Store or not. You want to go to the top left, click the plus button and do new copy files. And then we want to expand that and change the destination to Frameworks. Then we just want to go ahead and drag our Paddle Framework in, and now that is added. First, we want to go into our AppDelegate.h and import using a header, but we're going to want to have the brackets, not the quotation marks. And then we just have a Paddle slash Paddle.h should be the first one that comes up. And then that's it. Now we go to AppDelegate.m. Under the application did finish launching section, you want to implement this code, which will be down in the description below. You just paste it, it'll be really easy. Just go ahead and paste that in. And then there are a couple of different identifying numbers, which you will need to replace. So we can just go ahead back on to our Paddle website. And as you can see, it gives a product ID, vendor ID, and API key. You just want to copy and replace those with the ones that are currently in there. And then you will be able to actually have tracking set up for your own application. But then after that, you just want to save the files, run the app, head on back over to the Paddle website, and wait for your API request to load. Once it recognizes it, you will be all good to go. And then you can continue on adding more advanced tracking and a couple of other things if you would like. But doing this that we've done right here does provide you with some pretty good analytic tracking, like how many times it's been open month, weekly, and daily, how many users you have, what computer they're on, country, and what operating system they are on as well. But that is going to do me for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below as always, and I will get right back to you. But thank you so much for watching. As always, this is Mark with iAppleTech128, and have a great day.